that's all I want to do. But let, let's, let's talk yeah. about this other topic here. Um, MVCI. MVCI. Is it busted? Maybe. Is this game broken? Well, we were pretty certain that it was it was broken. Were we not? I mean, that it was. That's like the goal of it is to be yes. wild. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. And yes, that's, that's honestly it's supposed to be crazy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh. That said, I mean, we we had I think everybody acknowledged that there was a significant chance that it was free enough that like very wild stuff would end up happening, right? Mm -hmm. We all recognize that. So now there's the a hit stun decay glitch that mm -hmm. essentially resets hit stun and makes it so that it doesn't decay as much as it's yeah. supposed to. I feel like it's actually, and this is again coming from the programming standpoint. I think it's a flip. I think it's an integer flip. Because the damage has oh, to be okay. up to seventy three hundred, yeah. Which I'm assuming is probably the highest level of, of uh, of uh, That's hit stun scaling, yeah. and so something triggers it, and there's probably supposed to be a protection to let it drop, you know, prevent it from going any higher or whatever. But it probably tries to increase it, and it resets it to zero. That's my theory. Yeah, That's my that theory. makes total sense to me. Because mm -hmm. uh, then after that, you just do whatever you want, basically. And uh, there, there are. At this point, paths found for a lot of different characters to, mm -hmm. to set it up. Um, so there's a, there's a pretty, pretty good chunk of characters that can yeah. make it happen. I mean, Vanilla Marvel had a hit stun deterioration reset glitch, too, if you remember. The capture state, and you would DHC, and the guy would DHC flip glitch. out the DHC glitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the ability to kill one character is, is pretty crazy in a game with two characters rather than mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. uh, Which is why we even talked about the Spider-Man Infinite last week. Right, like right. Uh, and, and, you know, on top of that, better setups have come out so that people are doing uh, uh, inescapable resets, essentially, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Resets that are uncombos, to use a term that nobody's used for, like, 15 years. Uh, like, a combo that's not counted as a combo. It's not a combo counter continuation, but there's no escape out of it, so you might as well call it a combo. Uh, like, I don't know if you saw Al Yoon come out with uh, this whole Dante Spider-Man thing. <laughs> Dude, I love it. It's you put so him in, You put him in the box, and they can't tag, and then the... the. Oh, no, I don't think I saw this one. So the one that he had before that was the same idea, right? Dante mm -hmm. does combo, 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 big old combo. Million dollars. They flip right. out a million dollars, then you get him with the Spider-Man super. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The only way to escape that is to tag, but you tag into the Dante million super. Million dollars, so you, you yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you just have space box open, then they can't tag anyway. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, they're okay. they're definitely dead. Right, my God, does that mean I should be using Space Stone? I think Space is the best because honestly, then that means they can't escape my Spider Man reset either. I I've been saying I think Space is the best. I, I think I think Soul is the theory best, but I don't think that's going to happen for quite a while. So I think right. Space is the best. Mm -hmm. uh, in any case, you know, setups like that mean that there are you know one touch kills. one touch kills. Mm -hmm. You know, characters build meter while they're getting hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With two bars, you can tag out. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's unlikely that that's going to be like a frequent, whenever you get touched, you right. have won the round. Mm -hmm, Basically, that's mm -hmm, not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But it still is more than clearly they intended. Right. Capcom intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, Capcom is, is taking a look at that stuff. We'll see what they do. I'm sure there's going to be a, some change in, yeah, in the works. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just want to talk about Marvel being... Crazy and uh, I mean, I, I, it's I, no surprise. I said it like I said before the game came out. I was like, "Look, when the game is busted, because you know it's going to be right." Because I mean, that wasn't even if to me; it was a when. I was like, "Just let's just be happy that we live in a day a day and age of patches," because back in the day, we couldn't do anything with that with Marvel yep. Two. Most of the busted glitches in Marvel Two turned out not to be terrible because. They, they didn't beat Cable, Sentinel, Magneto, or Storm anyway. Like, for example, that Anacharis thing where once he gets you with the curse, uh -huh. he just keeps cursing you and you're dead. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But that doesn't matter because he, when's he going to get that right. hit against those Th characters? Thanos Bubble Infinite didn't matter. Didn't even matter. Um, <laughs> like the Juggernaut powered up, permanent power up glitch. They banned Gambit flying away from the screen <laughs> and disappearing. Yeah. There was a lot of uh, bugs and frozen. Like... If you, like, chances are, if you went to a Dave & Buster's and you saw an MVC2 machine, like, 90% of the time the game was frozen. 
because somebody who knew how to freeze the game would come along and do it for fun. <laughs> like, that happened oh, all... I have God. seen so many Frozen MVC2 games in Dave & Buster arcades. That's funny. Just because... And I've seen people do it. They're like, oh, shit, an MVC2 machine. They run over there, and then they like, do this glitch, and they walk away, and they're like, ha, ha, and they... Yeah. What a butt. That's yeah. funny. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, there is uh, a lot of... Well, letting it rock versus patching, uh, it's it's... In this day and age, it's a little bit different because of the prize money and the esports aspect of it. There are some things that I do not want a knee-jerk reaction to patch, okay. uh, like the Dante reset to the Spider-Man thing. I think that's super clever. I love that setup, but it forces you to use Dante and Spider-Man, which is not a bad team at all because they're both super good. But even if you took away the Spider-Man, the Spider-Man Infinite is the only thing that I think right now should. Well, there's a couple things that needs Hits to be Thund patched. Decay the Hits Thund Decay should be patched. Uh, there was also, there was one other thing. Oh, Gamora gun not being throwable. Mm, yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I don't know if that is like super it's important. Not, yeah, but... it's not going to come up very often, yeah. but it's just, it should be patched. Like, Gamora can do, I guess, like meaty guns against waking up Hagar. Like, <laughs> alright. You don't have to worry about level 3 super. I don't oh, know. and Crouch Light Stinger. Yeah, that one needs to be fixed. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's uh, not just Crouch Light in the Stinger. Some other characters have that too, but yeah, right. The, the, the unintentional Point taken. overheads. Or unintentional yeah, yeah, yeah. Overhead. Uh -huh. yeah. And again, you know, all the, like I said, all the, this, people are always like, stupid Capcom, they suck that they didn't find all this. Look, I, you go make your own fighting game. Honestly, you will not, especially one that's like this. Right. If you make it like a Street Fighter game, even Birdie Jump Light Kick being invincible on the way down, that glitch that happened a long time ago. I forgot about that. That stuff is not easy to find. Like, unless you literally have someone go through every frame and just like look at everyone and be like, is there a throwable hitbox? Is there a hittable hitbox? And there is like a like thousands and thousands of frames in this game, right? A lot of these things have to be found just through people playing and hope you get lucky and you find a lot of these things, you know what I mean? I, it's whatever. I mean, it's to be it's to be expected that there would be some issue. Mm -hmm. But as you said, they can patch it. They're going to do that. Right. I, I what what I don't want is for them to also patch the characters. I just mm -hmm. I think you're right about the Dante Spider-Man thing. Let that rock. We'll see how, we'll see yeah, how it pans yeah, yeah, out, yeah. right? Uh -huh. But the fact that you can tag with two bars just means like, hey, if I'm going to play against a Spider-Man Dante team, I'm not going to spend meter for super. Right. Exactly. I'm just I'm going to always have the two bars. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to come in spinning with the old lariat. Oh boy. Right. You know what I mean? Um, Dude, they should just hire tool assisted. Like why have they not hired like these kind of resources. No, actually, the reason why is because he's not from Japan. But I mean, let's just let's just be honest here, right? Are you sure so, about where she lives? That's true. I'm not sure where she lives. Actually, she could be Japanese. Maybe that's why she types that way to hide her inability to speak English very well. Could be. I am not sure. There you go. Okay. I'm not sure. <sighs> anyway, we'll see what happens with that. I just like like I said, I don't want character changes. It may be that some characters are too good and some characters are not good enough, but. Mm -hmm. it, for now, I'm not sure about that, and I'd rather have time to check it out. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't... Personally, I don't feel like the game is terribly imbalanced. It's no, no. It seems to me like it's a great first stab at a Marvel game, specifically. Dude, especially with, apparently, the budget that they had for this game. I literally had someone argue to me that they were like, man, Capcom doesn't care about us because... You know, they made this game and half-assed it, and all they concentrated on was the gameplay and the netcode. What a bunch of crazy people. I mean, if you have no budget... That's what you concentrate on. That's, <laughs> that's what you work on, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, of course. That's what you work on. I'm happy that that's what they chose. Definitely. If we have an ugly-ass Dante and an ugly-ass Frank West, but the gameplay is fun and the netcode is good... That is what I'm matters. Good. I'm yeah. good. Of course, it would have been great if they had spent more money on it. You know, <laughs> obviously that's preferable, mm -hmm, if, mm -hmm. if possible, whatever the construction right, right, right. But if possible, but that said, if you do have a limited, limited budget, definitely pay attention right, to the gameplay. Exactly. Of course. And yeah, they're gonna work on stuff like story mode and all that stuff like that. But that's because everyone was mad that Street Fighter Five didn't have. Basically, Mar again. I mean, look. Yeah, Dad, you better sit down. For Damn. Sure. I don't want to. <sighs> Street Fighter is a result of Street Fighter 4 complaints. Okay. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is a result of Street Fighter 5 complaints. Right? I mean, it's just, it's just, let's, let's be honest with ourselves here. And that's pretty much how it all worked out. So, you guys were mad about 
not a lot of modes, so they made sure they put an arcade mode, story mode, you know. Game, a lot of people were mad at gameplay, so they made sure the gameplay for Marvel was really sick and fun and creative. Well, mission accomplished. Yeah, exactly. So, <clears throat> in any case... Uh, I still think that my team of Nemesis Hagar is, is, is month one top tier. Yeah. Especially with space. I mm-hmm. think it's pretty silly. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty crazy. I basically win matches online. By the way, I don't think I'm terrible anymore. I thought I was the worst, uh-huh. and I don't think I'm the worst anymore. Oh, I don't. I don't okay. think I'm good, but I did take games off Tuboware earlier. What? Not, I think he he made it out of his pool in CEO Taku. So could I have made it out of a pool three weeks ago? I think so. I think so. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, I'm still like 11th or whatever 12th ranked <laughs> on the internet. I but, think Mega uh, Man was slept on. Mega Man X should have been the Dante of the game, and the supers are lazy. What do I think? Yeah, I don't like. I don't like. I don't see. That's a weird. I don't know enough about Mega Man X right now. I don't yeah, see him enough. Man. I don't see a lot of people playing him. I think so. I feel like he's a bit underrated myself. Yeah, we'll but, see how uh, it goes. Probably not fantastic. I mean, like these games, these games. Uh, this, I, I just, I don't like the knee jerk reactions and stuff. And I really want to talk about this actually uh, on an Uncensored episode because I want to tell a story about knee jerk reactions. But like, you know, d- don't forget what everyone did with Level Four Wesker when when Ultimate Marvel came out. Remember Level Four X Factor Wesker? Yeah. Once the shades are off, and then Whoa, he's he was the best. He was the best character by far, right? So, yeah. Um, uh, the point of that story was that I am not feeling myself. I don't think I'm very good. That was the point. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. I don't think I'm very good at the game. I haven't played. I haven't played uh, online again recently. Actually, like I said, I just played some Tekken yesterday, which was cool. I really had a good time with that. So, the the only time I win is because I get to do stupid things with my team. Nemesis Hagar, it's. I feel like its defense is the best in the game. So whenever anybody wants to like do cool stuff up close, I'm just I just spin around, or I do easy hyper with uh, with Hagar, which is invincible, or I do right. versatile four punches with Nemesis, oh, which is invincible. Oh. And then I just tag, and I'm like, well, now it's my turn See, to do people stuff. People don't realize. I'm just, like, that's it. Like, and, and once I get snowballing, I just snowball. It's like a real jerk of right, a team, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Command grabs in there, and I got a space box. It's just like, I just get to do stupid stuff, and I'm not very good, so that's perfect. You, you, you said on Twitter that you felt like your hagger, most of his damage came from yourself spitting, right? 100%. Yes. So that's how I played Maki. He in, dies all the time. In, in CVS 2. I just hit 3K all day and hit everything. And I just, I, the only reason why I want to bring this up is because this is, again, going back to the whole thing of like people want one button special moves. You know how I use Maki's three thing? I literally walked up and had my hands over the buttons, and anytime I saw the opponent move, I hit three kicks. It's like with Ed in SF5, yeah, right? It's the same uh, idea. Uh, people totally do the same thing. Yeah, and so it's so much easier to invincibly hit people like that. So my hit rate on stupid 3K, like even, I was playing against Nuki at Southern Hills Golf Land. And I, like, like drained half of my life and almost his whole entire bar with, like, three kicks. And afterwards, he was like, your mock is very strong. And I was like, yeah. Was like, but it was hilarious. all three it was all three kicks. Because you could just walk up and be like, he did something three kicks, you know? And it's like, yeah, that's why quarter circle forward motions is important. But even with Hagar, it's Lariat tag. Yeah. And it's, it's not even just that now it's your turn. It's that if they got hit, you get a full combo. You get, you get <laughs> yep. the whole thing. You yeah. know, now they're in the corner, and then you bring in the old Hagar again, whatever you want. He's got a barrel there, you know. It's, <laughs> he is such a jerk. It's so fun. Yeah. Oh, man. It's yeah. not, I don't feel like it's repetitive. It's, uh, if you watch good, so, I feel like there's like a middle ground in terms of skill where it pro- may become repetitive. Because the same thing, it happened with Marvel 3, too. Mm-hmm. But at lower levels, it's blast. It's very free and open and a blast. And then at high levels, it's very free and open and a blast. Yeah, and not but only there's that, this middle ground where it's, I don't know. Because at the highest levels, that's when players are counter-tagging and tagging. and Because right now at middle grounds, everyone who counter-tags gets themselves killed. They just like bring in some guy and die. Like, okay, so at the tournament that I just that we were just at in Iowa, of all places, yeah. like um, Chris G was at that tournament. And when he counter-tagged, I noticed distinctly that he would counter-tag and run away. Yes. You would counter tag and like run under the guy and just fly yes, away. Yes, definitely. As soon as they launch, you, you counter tag, yeah. now you're in the Because them. one, he turns them around. 
so you can't hit the guy Correct. over there. And two, the other guy always drops combos on purpose because like, oh shit, here comes the counter tag. Most people are counter tagging, super jump, let me hit him, and they run into buttons and then they get happy birthday and everything like that. And so like... Once you get to the higher level, it's like counter tag, tag, and here, counter tag, uh -huh. tag, tag here, counter tag. And so it, it isn't as repetitive, but you're right. At the middle ground where everybody is doing everything, where it feels like they're supposed to do everything, yes, it gets very repetitive. And every character is going to do 6,500 damage. Every character, you know what I mean? It's like there is that issue with it. But I think at the yeah. highest levels, it's definitely very interesting. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a blast. Uh, yeah, and by the way, Sonic Fox is the best player in the world. Yeah, I mean, well, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Sonic Fox versus F Champ. Did you yeah. watch that? Yes, I did. I was cheesing the whole time. Dude, I like. I was just like, because I was with a bunch of the other guys. Like, I was with Yipes, and I was with Marn, and, you know, Sherry, and all these guys. And I was just sitting there, I was like, why would you guys not think Sonic Fox could win this? Like, you got me. I don't know. So, he has a rap of only playing games that, like, not the good players play. Sonic Fox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. The NRS scene has a rap of being not as competitive as other game scenes. That was true for many years. Okay, like in MK9, even in probably Injustice One, but certainly come MKX mid MKX for the last like year and a half, two years, mm -hmm. it's been as strong as most scenes. Right. I'm not gonna tell you what's as strong as Street Fighter, which I think is probably the strongest, only because that's what is most entered. Right. It's, 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 the it's, it's quantity. Yeah, that's the only it's reason. It's not quality. It's that's quantity. That's the only reason. But, right. but I, so I don't think that it's that strong, but it's as strong as like most other games. Mm -hmm. So if you got somebody who's winning most of the time, including getting the top eights pretty regularly without having lost a game, mm -hmm. and also wins the Skull Rules things, and mm -hmm. also the DOA things, and he also got top eight in final round of Street Fighter V when he played it for a month and a half. Right. Um, I just don't see why you would think that he is not a good player. Uh, so I, I wasn't like rooting for one side or the other, F Champ or, or Sonic Fox, but I did think it was hilarious that he dumped on F Champ. <laughs> um, I think, I just think that's funny because I, you know, F Champ is, uh, very sure of himself and, uh, you know, I hope he, I mean, you could see in the second set, he was figuring it out. Like if, if they had started, if they had started a new third set. Well, someone, uh, well, yeah, he was know. figuring it out, but someone said that they forgot to update Sonic Fox. He actually won 11 to like something. Did he really? Okay. So he should have won much earlier and it would have looked like a bigger blow oh, up, but it, it didn't. Okay. That's what someone told me. That's funny. That's what someone told Dude, yeah, I saw what, I saw what. So like F Champ was, was figuring stuff out. He's obviously an excellent player. Yeah, because I mean, the thing is, the first half of the second set, you could tell he wasn't really, like, fully in it because he was like, shit, I can't beat this. What the hell am I supposed to do? Like, you could see he was lost. And then he started figuring it out because he's a smart guy. But he still got blown up. The thing is that he played that defensively better than anybody else, and he and he did it quickly. Like, when, it, when I have watched, because I've watched all the NLBCs when mm -hmm. Sonic Fox goes there, and I've been watching Bum stream, and he's been there, and I watched Ray Ray stream, and yes. he's been there. I've just been watching a lot of Marvel Infinite in general. Um, Sonic Fox gets people to just not do anything. Like, he makes it so that even Ray Ray, with as much movement as he has, mm -hmm. even Ray Ray gets caught by, like, instant air dash to the other side, instant air dash back to the first side. And he's not pressing buttons. Right. He's just, just caught. Mm -hmm. F Champ never had that happen to him. Like, in the second game, like, he saw Jetta do okay, something so like instant air dash. It wasn't an 11 thing, so... It was not, okay. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, so he, he saw Jetta do instant air dash in game one. In game two, he was already doing stand jab to mm -hmm, anti-air mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Already, Nobody else had even done that right, that I've been right, watching. Right. Uh -huh. So it's not like he came into this and was getting butted on in the same way that everybody else was. He was doing better, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but Sonic Fox is so far ahead that he 3 0 him, and then I forget what the final score of the third first thing was, but he won both of those sets 3 0 so he would have threw out him in tournament. Uh -huh. And then ultimately won by landslides anyway. Right. So, yeah, he's probably the best player. Um, it may be that Justin Wong's the best. He hasn't entered a tournament yet. Certainly F Champ is going to be studying and practicing and getting a lot better, right. of course. But, yeah, it's probably Sonic Fox. I mean, I had heard that Justin Wong is pretty much the best right now. Yeah. And, and I heard this from an unbiased source, a.k.a. Marn, right? Because okay. Marn okay. would totally not be biased in this situation. Sure. And he was like, no, Justin Wong is the best for free. Okay, all right. All but right. the interesting thing was that the, the comment that um, that Yipes actually said about Justin, though, is that he says he's never seen Justin Wong this aggressive and this movement heavy. 
like he's like he used to just be like the lamest guy yeah. in the world and he's like right like in this game like he is never standing still like he huh. is just in your face the whole entire time I don't so. even know what team Justin plays do you? no idea I, I, I don't even know that right exactly <laughs> So, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time people have said, you know what, I can take on Sonic Fox and and, and, and failed. So. Yeah. I mean, again, I don't, I don't know that I'd be rooting for either side because, you know, Justin's my friend. I want him to do well. I like Sonic Fox, too. It's, it's, it's like I want... I feel like I want both things to happen. I want, like, the scene to be defended. Marvel players defending their turf. And then I also want, like, the newcomer to come in and blow it all up. Like, I definitely feel both sides, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Although, I will say this, I do think that Sonic Fox being a champ is great. Mm. I think it's great for the scene. Yes. I think it's great for... Because it's basically the challenger coming in here, and it's not just going to be, hey, I'm F champ, I'm already good at this game, I've been playing this game longer than all of you have, and... He's just gonna body everybody. You know what I mean? Like it's Sonic Fox came in here was because everyone was like, "Man, Dormammu's so cheap. The vines are broken. You can't do anything to ro too good, too good." He never even got. And every time he there did get go. it, he set up the mix up, and it was weird. F Champ's mix up looks slow, and like you're doing the same setup again. It didn't work. You know, like it lo it looked weird yeah. that he kept going that same setup. Yeah. And it didn't look that impressive all of a sudden. You know what I'm, I mean? I'm and, totally with you. And so it was just good because Raccoon and Jetta, two characters that, you know, not everybody was saying, some people were saying Raccoon was top five for free, right? But um, a lo most people weren't looking at them. Everyone's talking about Ultron and Dormammu and Dante. And to have Sonic Fox come in with this team that not a lot of people were, you know, talking about or anything and blowing up someone like F Champ with this top tier broken team, I think is great. I think it's fantastic. So agreed. I'm super excited. Strongly agreed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a. I mean, as many games as he played against F Champ, Dude. he was doing different mix ups the whole time. I mean, it, a lot of them were based on the same idea, but like he was coming up with stuff on the fly. And when I saw him play the, you know, later in the week against Ray Ray and and um, Coach Steve on Ray Ray's stream, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he was coming up with stuff like on the fly. And I don't know if you ever seen Sonic Fox play in casuals he is constantly feeling himself to the maximum extent oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh -huh, absolute uh -huh, maximum uh -huh, uh -huh. and and there were some squeals out of that boy <laughs> that you would not believe if you haven't seen the, the right, streams yeah. like he he is having such a blast yeah uh -huh, it looks uh -huh. super annoying <laughs> <laughs> oh man dude but yeah did you see when uh champ activated the ghost rider bike and he put him in the box <laughs> He put Ghost Rider bike in the box. And I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, shit, we're in Vegas. Like, I was picturing the little bikes in the globes. Because you know? <laughs> he was just turning around back and forth in the box. I was like, this is the greatest thing, dude. Oh, man. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, he definitely squeals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, he's like giggling the whole time. He's like, yes, definitely a giggler. It's that, that Edma... Sanchez, so in other words, Sonic Fox is probably, we don't know this yet, but he's probably the best third strike player on the planet right now. I definitely believe that he could be. Yeah. <laughs> if he wanted to, I would believe oh, that. Oh, man. Okay. He has that style. Oh, all right. Anyway. But, yeah, MVCI is a pretty crazy game. I would expect nothing less. It, look, if MVCI came out and it didn't feel busted, I would feel like it was a failed MVCI game. Yeah, it I feel like crazy. it would be an MVC game. It would be a failed MVC game to me. It should be crazy. And, and there are a lot of people out there. Yes, uh, someone's been arguing with me um, that you know that this game is bad because some people are saying it needs a patch. Dude, I, the game obviously needs a patch. Yeah, but I still love it, right? And I've seen people like Kyle P was just like, I don't care what anybody says. I'm having the most fun with this game that I've ever had. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of players out there who are legit enjoying this game. So. I just, I'm so happy with my team. It's so fun. <laughs> I get to be such a butthole. Oh, oh man. man. Okay. Uh, like, I don't even hit confirm, dude. It's, it's ridiculous. I just do button, button, special move super. Because why not? I have characters with the most health in the game, and it doesn't matter if they get hit, and I can tag, and then if I have Nemesis coming at them, right, he's invincible. And then... I get Hagar coming in, and there are gaps in there where there can be command oh, grabs. Oh, yeah, yeah, But it doesn't yeah. matter even if they don't get grabbed, because I still got the dude, he's coming in. Right, yeah, yeah. And then you can, if they push block, uh, you can space stone them back into the mix-up. It's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh boy, that's yeah. exactly how Sonic Fox sounds. Yeah, actually, a lot of people are right though. It's really hard to find a lot of people online right now, which is unfortunate. But there's just not that many people who are playing it. Not that many people who bought it. That's so. exactly right. Uh, but then also, uh, dude, do you see that someone actually did finally like on the PC they modded the graphics a little bit to like add shaders and stuff like that. It didn't a hundred percent look better. Yeah. It definitely looked kind of janky, but it definitely showed that there was potential there. Agreed. And I do think, oh, God, I have said this though. Ever since the game came out, I felt like a lot of the bad graphics come from the fact that all the characters look so washed out. Yeah, they the look The contrast weird. is really bad in the game, and it, there's just something about it looks pasty and washed out. And I just feel like if they could just... Like, if they could just put in a quick little shader fix in there, they don't need to, like, update the graphics or whatever, but I think that would go a long way to making the game look better than it does right now. And, like, it... It can't look worse, right? <laughs> so, I mean, might yeah. as well. So. Yeah, I'm with you.